Hey everybody, welcome back. This is a test of another Super Single Z. I am calling these guys Super Zs. Look at this cabinet. Oh my god, she is gorgeous. This is a single 3500Z. Um, I was very lucky. I contacted Charger at ICA Manufacturing. Great dude down there. And I had him powder coat one of these cabinets for me uh, in clear. And uh, oh my god, how great is that? You don't get fingerprints in it. Beautiful. Um, very simple as always. You got an on and off AM standby single sideband, plate current meter, plate voltage meter. Um, on the back side as always, pretty simple. Got a custom fan grill back there, sucks air in through here, pressurizes the bottom cabinet. This box has an internal blower, not a fan, a blower. Blows in, pulls in across the power supply, cools everything down, blows across the cabinet, blows up and over, out the top on this side. You have 120 volt outlet, uh, 120 volt input, sorry, you have an RF ground circuit breaker, in out, very simple box. Um, this box is a Super Z because, I'm going to show you the inside of it over here, you've got the gigantic, look at the size of that transformer, 420 milliamp CCS transformer. You've got a very high voltage capacitor bank right there, you've got beautiful plate chokes and safety chokes and you got a beautiful tank coil and nice little tuners evenly spaced right in the middle. You've got a chimney, blow through cooling design. Beautiful box. You're not going to find a better built box than this guys. Okay, this is your no key down time, big ball and Z. Now I'm going to put the cover back on. We're going to go through some testing scenarios with different drive and uh, we'll show you guys what it do. Be right back. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we uh, got the driver all set up and everything now. We're going to show you guys um, slightly more than typically what I would run for drive. Um, this is going to be 75 watts. I'm going to show you guys the driver first so you know I'm not cheating. Um, I'm going to put the driver on so the first noise you hear is just the fan on the, on the driver. Uh, I'm going to move the camera so you can see the watt meter a little better. I'm going to zoom in for you here. So this is a 250 watt slug, okay? So we're looking at the, you see 250, we're gonna look at the top scale. So the five is 50, the line in between the five and the 10 is 75. So we're gonna be seeing probably around a 20 something watt carrier and talking to 75 watts PEP, the PEP is on. Okay, so we've got, uh, I don't know, 20 watt carrier. Oh. Seventy-five watts PEP. Now, I'm just shutting the driver off so you guys can hear the difference. But we're going to put the twenty-five hundred watt slug in, and I wanted you guys to hear the box when I put it on, because the beautiful thing about this amplifier is the fact that it's so dang quiet. Now, this box has a step start, um, and uh, you'll notice the plate voltage meter. Actually, you can't see the plate voltage meter, but what's uh there we go. How about that? So your plate voltage meter reads up to 5 kV, so we are going to be looking at uh, around 3,800 volts on the plate. So, um, you know, this box really gets up with a lot less drive because it's a little bit higher on the voltage. Um, when it comes to 500Zs, these things run really well. Anywhere from between uh, 3,000 to 4,000 volts, I'll be very honest, I'm so happy with these Penta Laboratories tubes. I have no issue whatsoever running them at 4 kV. Um, I, I've had a couple boxes that are right around 3,900. This is around 3,858, the voltage. Um, so don't be afraid of using higher volts. You can use less drive. Who cares? It's wonderful. The tubes are happy. Um, but those Penta tu Pentalab tubes, they be great. So listen to how quiet this box is. You're going to hear the step start. You're going to see the voltage come up. And uh, you can hear how quiet the blower in this box is. You can put it right on your desk. Listen. That's quiet. All right. And you've got real cooling in there. So we're going to tilt you up. I'm going to... Put the box into AM. The box has been tuned and loaded already. We're looking at the top scale. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring this closer for you so you can see it better here. Okay. 
So this is a 2500 watt slug. We're looking at the top scale, okay? We're gonna put the driver on, so the fan noise you're gonna hear is the driver, so don't freak out. The driver makes more noise than the big box. <clears throat> so, anyway, so again, we're keying it with 25 watts, swinging 75 watts, okay? We've got a 270 watt dead key. Oh, da, 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 oh. So you're getting 1300 watts, all right? And she's not even breaking a sweat. Oh, audio. Now, if you notice, my plate current meter is not swinging forward, and that's because I don't have a super hot radio. If you guys have a radio that really pushes hard on the average, you know, you're going to see more, okay? But, Claudio. The box works great. Um, now, let's play with the driver settings a little bit, okay? We're going to put this on standby. Let's rub some stank on it. Let's see what we can do. <clears throat> let's give this guy some juice. We want to see some real watts. So we've got, this is just the driver. Where are we keying here? Let's lower this. Let's do that. Let's turn this up. And we've got what? Let's give some more carrier here. Actually, hold on. Oh! That's 150 watt PEP from a. Okay, there you go. What? There's a 25 watt carrier. Oh, 150 watts. All right. So without changing anything, let's put the 2500 watt slug back in. Okay, we're gonna put the box in AM. Now we're hitting it with 150 watts PEP. Let's see what she do. We're pulling a little over 300 mils. Audio. Oh, we're getting 1,500 at about 400 mils. Audio, audio. Now I'm gonna reload the box a little bit and see what happens, right? See if we can get some more out of it. Oh, 1,700. Audio. What was that, 8, 1,750, 1,800? Audio. So we're seeing more than 1700. Okay. So, you know, the box, the box can do it. Audio. If you look at the plate current meter, we're a little over 400. We're not even at the continuous rating of the transformer yet. Audio. Audio. We're just touching 400 and something milliamps. So you still got more juice in the power supply, guys. All right? So you want a box that talks? You want to smack this thing around? You want to rub the stank on your signal? Audio. That's got to be 1,800 watts. That, if that ain't 1,800, I'm lying. All right? So there you go, guys. Mountaintop Electronics. Super Z. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments if you want. You guys want this box? She's available. You know what I need from you? I need money. So give me some cash money. You can have you a super single Z, and I'll get this thing out in a UPS box to you. It's gonna come in probably, actually uh, two packages, because I shipped the tube separately in the original Penta foam packaging, which is phenomenal. And it also has a glass chimney. Um, and then you gotta ship the box. You know, So it's, there's a lot of padding. Um, I'm going to take a wild guess and say shipping is expensive, but we don't want a broken box when it gets to your doorstep, right guys? So if you guys want this box, um, give me an email, give me a call, give me a text, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Bye, bye, bye!